Hey folks, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing a drone video this week, and as you probably noticed, Beta Flight 4.3 Release Candidate 1 did drop on Christmas Day. So I'm going to take this, my QAVS Mini 3 inch uh, freestyle, try to upgrade it over to 4.3 and then see how well it performs because it's supposed to fly really well out of the box with stock tune and also have reduced uh, prop wash. So let's go over to the computer, we'll do the update and then see how it works out. First thing I want to do is open up my old beta flight configurator and do a backup of all my settings. I can see I'm on 4.2.6 right now and my target is the iFlight F722 Twin G. So the easiest way to do this is through CLI. I can just do a dump command. So I can do a dump all. So this will back up every single configuration. So I can say, you know, save the file. And then I can give it a name. What I also can do is a diff all, which will only give me the settings I have changed. So I want to do a save of this one too. And then we can also see what my pit settings are because I've been tuning this quad for quite a while and I've got it I think pretty close to what seems to work well for with my flight style and it's actually this over here. So we want to see how does beta flight 4.3 compare kind of fresh stock settings with what I've been working on here for probably six months now. The first step is to actually get the configurator. So this is out now for the general public before it wasn't out for everyone. And it says first thing we got to do is get the latest configurator. So let's do that. So we'll click on that link. We'll get the Windows software. We'll save it. Next, we'll install it. Okay, so once to uninstall the old version, so let's make sure the old version is closed. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so for some reason it can't uninstall the old version, so let's uninstall the old version manually. Okay, let's try once more. Yeah, I think that's good now. Okay, let's go update firmware. Now I don't see 4.3 here, so I think we wanna go into unstable. And then we wanna go release and release candidate. And here we go. 4.3.0 RC1. So let's uh, load firmware. Okay, and let's flash firmware. So it's erasing. It's flashing, so so far so good. And if you find that yours does not uh, go into flashing, there is a driver fixer you can actually install to fix that. I have a link to that in my other beta flight uh, update video. I'll link you in the video description. All right, so it says programming successful. Let me go ahead and unplug the flight controller and then plug it back in. Okay, let's connect. Yes, apply defaults. Okay, so we're online, let's connect. Yeah, we'll calibrate later. And let's look through these tabs. So that looks no different. Yeah, this looks very similar. I believe some of these pieces have moved around. 
Yeah, the page has moved around a little bit. Mm. Yeah, because this used to be lower, and then here we had the ability of doing the uh, D shot setup. Oh, over here so the motors tab now has our d shot and our bi-directional setup okay that kind of makes more sense now okay so i think what i can start doing is i can start copying over just some of the information from my cli Okay, let's save that. Okay, let's check movement direction. Yeah, that's good now. So that's all fine. Okay, anything here? So it's all set already through our CLI. Okay, drop. Pit tuning. So our rates should be okay. Should be good. Motors should be good. Okay, we'll turn on the voltage compensation. Filters, so we want to turn off some of these filters. Well, actually it's already off. It's off, that's off. Dynamic notch. All right, on the motor tab, we're gonna take off the propellers. We're gonna try out and make sure that these are working okay. Okay, 0%, turn this on. Okay, that's good. We're gonna go into our CLI. I wanna check one more thing. Okay, I wanna go tasks. Yeah, we're at 40%, 42, 43, 45, 43. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. So now let's just do a quick test flight and then we'll take it outside and see how it actually does. 
All right, so here's the first flight with a beta flight 4.3. I did a quick test flight, but here's the main flight, and let's see how exactly it flies. Now, this is all with the stock settings, so stock PIDs, stock everything. So it actually looks like it flies very well in comparison to 4.2. So I do see a little bit of wobbles here and there, but all in all, for a stock tune, it flies very smooth, nice and responsive. The actual um, prop watch is also pretty low. So if I do a hard maneuver, so you see just a little bit of prop wash, nothing too crazy. So I think for 4.3, this is actually really, really good. I'm pretty impressed because they did say it's supposed to retune and kind of retweak the way the quad flies. And it looks like it has done that. So you see a little bit of uh, wobbles there. But yeah, all in all, this is flying very, very well for stock. Yeah, I'm impressed for a release candidate with no tuning to fly like this out of the box. Very impressed. Yeah, you see it nice and smooth. Yeah, definitely worth it. Now I want to come back in and I want to try my old pit. So I did uh, do a uh, second profile. And the second profile has my uh, tune from 4.2, roughly. I mean, I use the sliders, but I want to see how it compares. So let me come back in. And here's the flight with my 4.2 PIDs. I'll put the PIDs up on the screen. But really curious how this compares to the last flight, which was the stock PIDs. So let's make sure everything's fine. Yeah, so I saw even more uh, prop wash and kind of wobbles there. So it doesn't look like it's as good as the stock PID. Uh, not bad. Actually, I think it's a little bit better in certain situations. Like on power, it seems like it's better. Off power, it has a bit more wobbles. That's off power now. Actually, not bad. I'm quite happy with uh, 4.3 over here. 4.3 looks like it's living up to its hype, and this is just a release candidate. Oh, hello, squirrel. Now the weather's a little bit colder this morning, so the batteries are sagging pretty quick. I'm already down to 14.4. But yeah, I think for the whole test flight, really liking 4.3 beta flight, I think I'll also upgrade my uh, five inch to 4.3 as well. Okay, we're down to 13 and a half. Let me come back in. Alright, so hopefully you found this video useful. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions about 4.3 and you want me to investigate, just let me know. Alright, happy flying!